Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about how to send email from Python function in Odoo. So in our earlier video, we have shown you how to define how to define an email template in Odoo. So currently in the screen, you can see this is the template that we have defined from the code. So if I go to the PyCharm and if I take our module that is OM Hospital and you can see in the data file, we have added a mail template that is you can see patient card sent by email so if you haven't watched this video you can just go back and see how to define a new temp email template in Odoo so let's come back to this so what we will do in this video is that using this email template we will send email to the patients in Odoo so if I go to the hospital I'll just open a new new tab so I will if I open a new tab you can see so let the template be here and if I go to the hospital from here I will go to hospital and that is the patient form view let's add a new button here that is send, uh, send patient card button so once we click on this button we have to send an email to this email id given here so let's see how we can do that so let's first of all define a new button here inside the code so for that I will take the corresponding file that is this is the file the patient form view you can see this form is patient form so in the patient form view, I'll just add a new button that is button name I'll give us action sent patient card. I'll give a name like that action action sent card. So it, you can understand that we are going to send the patient card and I'll specify the type as object. So once you give the button type as object or clicking the button, the Python function will get called. Then string. I have to show okay. We have to give a string for the button. Which will get displayed in the front end send by email i will add the string as send by email and i will give the class as oe highlight so that the button will get a blue color okay that's done so what we have done is we have defined a new button inside corresponding for me that is button with the name action send card type object string send by email class oe highlight so let's upgrade the module first so once after we upgrade the module we will get a new button here inside the form view so let the upgradation uh, go through here so we have to define a new function in the, this name in the corresponding model that is hospital.patient so i'll copy this name and i will take the corresponding model that is hospital.patient here in the patient.py file you can see this is the model that is this is the model hospital.patient so let's define a function here with the name we have given for the button so diff diff function in diff action send card so we have defined the function just i will add a print a message here sending email just for that as purpose sending email okay now what we have to do inside this function is first of all we have to search and find the template that we have defined so in the mail dot template you can see mail underscore template dot xml we have defined a mail template so first what we have to do is that we have to search this mail so uh, let me search for an existing code so self.env roof i'll take a sample from here okay i'll just take this code line of this code okay i'll copy this and i will come to the python and i will paste it here inside our function that is action send card self.env rough and inside the reference you have to give the id of the email template that is patient card email template so i will copy this from here Okay, I have copied that and I will paste it inside the env roof. Okay, that's done. So you can also give the module name that is copy the technical name of the module. That is the technical name of the module where this template is defined. So you can see the template is defined inside om underscore hospital. So I will copy that name also here. Self dot env roof hospital hospital module name dot uh, template id. So we have we will get template ID from this. So I'll give the variable name as template ID. So we have, we got the template ID. Next, what we have to do is that if I check for an existing code that is sent sent mail. Okay, let's just adjust the thing send mail. And let me take a sample from here. Okay, I'll copy this line and I will paste it inside our function that is action send card. So self.env mail template browse template id send mail self.id and for sent us true. So what I have done is 
I'll just add some indentation to show what exactly we have done. So what we have done is we have defined a three lines here. That is we have defined a new function with the button name. So you can see the button name is action send card with type pass object. So the function with this name has to be defined inside this model. So in the corresponding model, we have defined the function with the button name. And inside this function, I have searched for the template that we have created. The ID of the template is patient cards and a send email template. So either you can get the template, you can get uh, that ID of the template from the front end. You can see this is the template that we have created from the debug mode. Right now the debug mode is enabled. So from here you can see view metadata. So you can see this is the XML ID. I'm hospital dot patient card. So I'll copy this and I will paste it here. So both are same. You can see this is module name dot template ID, which will be same as we what we get in the front end. So this is the module name dot ID we have given. So we have searched the template ID. So self dot DME rough on hospital dot ID. So from here we will get the ID of this record in the database. So using browse method that is if I just will show you what the browse method do. So I will show you if I assign like this template template equal to this and I will just print the template template and if I will print the template ID here print template ID and I will copy this variable that is template underscore ID okay now I will comment this line that is last line where we send the email I will just comment it out so let's see what we get in these variables so I'll just copy this variable and I'll print here so I'll just like this so I'll just restart the service as I have uh, made changes inside the python file so let's see what happens now so in this tab we have up upgraded that module after adding the button so let's go to the hospital and then to the patients then if you take the patients from you you can see a new button there that is sent by email has been added so once you click on this and if i check the corresponding log you can see how this function get called that is this got printer that is sending email is get called and in the template id you are getting id of the record that is 21 that is if i go to the corresponding here this is the template you can see id of the template is 21 that's what we get here in the template id you uh, using this method you can get the id so then you have to using that id you have to browse that record so self.env self.env and this model is if i click on edit view form mail template you can see this model is mail template so in the mail template model i am browsing the record with id as 21 so once i browse it you, you can get I, I am getting an object of mail dot template so you, in the template you got the thing you need so then using the template i'll just remove this comment and i will do template dot send email so right now i am expanding the lines so if i just remove the print print okay print is removed template dot once you get the template you can use the send my send underscore mail function which is the default function in Odoo send underscore mail function to send the mail and inside the pass the parameters to the function you have to send id of the record so if i comes here so from here if i take the email template you can see if i click on preview button you can see here we have to pass which record has to be printed that is here we are selecting the patient record that is if i select xyz in you can see the name is coming here so if I select Yasin, you can see the name Yasin coming here. So here we have to pass the ID of the patient for which to print that email. So you have to pass the ID of the patient. That is I have passed self.id which will pass the current ID. And I have sent the uh, parameter, uh, uh, parameters for sent equal to true which will send the email. So let's see what happens. Now I will restart the service after I have removed the comment from the last line. So I'll go here. If I go this tab and let it be here itself. Now I'll go to the technical and emails menu. You can see right now there is 14 emails. So you can see right now there is only 14 emails. Now if I click on send by mail, the record here will be get increased by one. So new email will also get created. But the email that 
we are going to generate will not get sent as you know right now there is no internet connection as well as i haven't configured the outgoing mail server so definitely the mail which is, which is going to generate will get failed so let's see what happens so i will click on send by email button so there is no error i think okay there is no error so let's see here it's 14 if i refresh the view you can see it become 15 you can see a new patient card get generated at this time that is 32.33 right now a new email get generated and if i open that email you can see dear yasin here is your patient card with reference sp008 h10 contact number everything is there in the attachments you can see in the attachment section you can see the patient card get attached if i open that code you can see there is the patient card so this is how you can send emails from the code so if i take another patient that is odo mates and if i click on send by mail if i come back the right now the code is 15 if i come back it will be 16 you can see a new patient card get generated that is patient card with rough hp 009 you can see have their odo mates everything is there and if i click on attachments and if i open the report you can see the patient card is get attached along with the email so and you can see right now the delivery is filled you can click on retry and you can click send now but actually it's not necessary right now we are getting it's failed because I, there is no internet connection in the system as well as i haven't configured the outgoing mail server so if you have any queries regarding this you can comment it out or reach us over the mail or mail at gmail.com please subscribe the channel for more updates and thank you